6, we have a big update tonight about Washington County's quest to ban flavored tobacco products, and it's a victory for local tobacco shops. A judge just tossed out the voter-approved ordinance that would have banned the products. Fox 12's Kendra Kent has reaction from both sides on this hot-button issue. Vape shops like Serenity Vapor here in Tigard are very excited about this news after a stressful year when they didn't know if they'd be able to stay in business. Now look behind me, you can see that their shop here is filled with flavored tobacco for vaping. The shop owner tells us it is 98% of his business. Juice Head is definitely a popular one. They have a lot of um, really good flavors. Flavored tobacco for vaping. That's the money maker here at Serenity Vapor and Tigard. I mean, we couldn't stay open without flavors. And these shelves won't be empty anytime soon after a judge this week overturned a Washington County ordinance that sought to ban them. Super excited, happy, obviously. Jordan Schwartz is one of three local business owners who sued the county over the ordinance earlier this year. I mean, we were worried about closing down, having to let the employees go, and, you know, it was worry for everyone. It's our livelihood. You might remember it was nearly a year ago when county leaders declared Washington County would be the first in Oregon to ban flavored tobacco products popular for vaping, citing the health risks and growing popularity among teenagers. It's been a bumpy road ever since. The ordinance went into effect briefly in January until it was put on hold to let voters decide flavored tobacco's fate in a referendum this past spring. Voters approved the ordinance so it went back into effect in July. Shortly after, the county was sued and a judge temporarily blocked the ordinance before the courts officially ruled in favor of the businesses on Monday. It's a big disappointment for Washington County leaders who'd hoped a ban would help limit access to their underage residents, particularly teens they say are at risk for getting hooked on nicotine and enticed by fruity or candy flavored tobacco products. A county spokeswoman told Fox 12, quote, we respectfully disagree with the court's ruling and are considering options for an appeal. The American Cancer Society also put out a statement following this ruling, calling this disappointing and against the interest of public health. Now, in that ruling, the judge did say that Oregon has the authority to ban flavored tobacco, but individual counties do not. Reporting in Tigard, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.